Welcome to King Kids. Welcome to King's Kids. Welcome to King's Kids. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of King's Kids Online Experience. We are so happy that you can join us again. Even though we're not getting to spend time with each other, we still get to spend time together and that makes us so excited. Are you guys ready for a great day? We're gonna have a game, we're gonna have a memory burst, we're gonna have a lesson, we're gonna have so much fun. Are you ready? I'm sorry, I don't know if you were loud enough. Are you guys ready? Awesome! Okay, so the first thing we have is worship. Are you guys ready? All right, let's open with a word of prayer. God, thank you so much for everything that you've done for us, for being who you are and for letting us be able to worship you wherever we may be. God, I ask that you would bless each and every one of our friends that are watching. God, that you would just let them know that they are loved. God, we love you so much. We're so grateful for everything that you've done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Are you guys ready to worship? Okay, great. You know what comes next. Please stand up.
Hey kids, we had a great time praising God with all of you. We really do belong here in His love. Woo! Well, let's have some fun. Are you ready? Let's call Minister Jen. On the count of three, I want you to shout with us, It's game time! Are you ready? One, One two, three, it's game time! Let's welcome Minister Jen! Woo! Thanks guys, I am so ready to play today's game. Today we're going to be talking about the Israelites and how God led them through the desert with a pillar of clouds by day and a pillar of fire by night. It was so clear that the Israelites could see it and they knew exactly where to go. There was no guessing with that. You know, God leads us in the same way. There are other things that we use to guide us. Say if we're driving, we can ask Siri to help us and give us directions. Or if we're hiking, we can even use a map. Or sometimes we can use, hmm, I like to play with Legos. And sometimes a box of Legos comes with a set of instructions that we follow. Do you guys do any of those things? I hope you do, because those things, directions, Siri, maps, all help guide us. The same way God guides us in life, and the same way God guided the Israelites through the desert. So for today's scavenger hunt, we want you to find three things. First, we want you to find something that's red to represent the fire, something that is white to represent the pillar of clouds, and of course, your Bible. We want you to get out your Bible. You're going to get 30 seconds to find all these things. Take your picture and tag us on Casey Oahu King's Kids on your Facebook and Instagram. Are you ready? Your 30 seconds starts now. I am so excited about today. All right, so I found instructions. I mean, I kind of sort of read them, but who really needs directions? I don't, I know how to do it. Okay, so what I'm supposed to do is I'm gonna put a balloon on this and then it's gonna blow up, not like but like inflate kind of blow up. All right, so are you guys ready? I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Hey, five, four, three, two, Jen, um, this was supposed to, I don't know what I did wrong. This looks like it's supposed to be really cool though. It is, but it's not. It's just kind of floopy. What do you want it to do? I want it to blow up. Oh, I don't think I've seen this before. All you gotta do is follow the, but who needs directions? It's supposed to be simple, right? Maybe I'm, am I supposed to? Well, well let's working. try it again with the with reading the directions on my phone since it's not here. Okay, so. I forgot to write them down. I'm blowing up the balloon with a bottle and some other things. Oh, this reminds me of um, the time. Have you ever heard about the time when God led the Israelites through the desert? Through a desert. Remember he, Moses, let my people go. Oh yeah, the whole plagues and the locusts and the, the boy. Oh yeah, it was not a good time for them. Not a good time. And it wasn't a good time because they needed clear directions on where to go. They kind of didn't really know where to go. Kind of like not really knowing how to make this work. Right. They didn't have any directions and in the desert, well, it all looks the same. <laughs> it all looks the same. So what God did, he really did that for him, for them because he loved them, they're his people. He put a huge pillar of clouds that they could follow by day 
Whoa. And they would follow it. They would travel and walk when the cloud moved by day. When it stopped, guess what they did? They stopped. They totally stopped. But then by night, God put a pillar of fire. Can you imagine that? A pillar of fire? In the night sky. It Ooh. must have been really cool. Probably. It probably helps keep them warm because the desert gets cold at night. Yeah, it does. So he did that for them and it was so clear. Like, you can't miss it. How can you miss it? I know. It's like Siri when I'm driving and I don't know where I'm going. She'll say, turn left in 300 feet. So I know I'm supposed to turn left. Super clear directions. And that's what God did for the Israelites so that they got to, where do you think? They got to where they were supposed to go. Where they were supposed to go. That's so cool. I love it about that. And God does that exactly for us. And you know what he uses these days? Because we, I don't think I've ever seen a pillar of fire no. at night. No. I mean, or, I see a lot of clouds, but most of the time they just look like a dog or like a dragon. A I saw bunny? one the other night that looked like a hippo. That one was kind of cool. I think I saw that same one. Oh. Yeah, but I didn't follow it. Did you follow it? No. No. I didn't. What, I think now I remember now what I was going to tell the kids. Oh, cool. We should follow the directions and instructions that God gives us in the Bible. Oh, uh, the Bible. That exactly. Makes sense. It makes total sense. Well, you know what? We need to finish this. So, um, oh, why don't you? I should have just read the instructions. Read the instructions. Read oh. the instructions. So this is vinegar. Uh huh. You got that right. Yeah. And then we have baking soda in here. That's what it says to do. You have some in there. That's why they just didn't work. This one's empty. Is it empty? Yeah, that this wasn't one, gonna work. This one feels like it's got some. You got this baby for me. I follow the instructions. She follows the instructions. We Just are going like to carefully okay. put it on. Oh, now you got to. Are you ready? I'm not. Let's count. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, it's still an egg. It's still an egg. Oh my goodness. It's, got, it's filling up with. Oh my God. I guess if you follow instructions, I mean, the things that are supposed to happen will happen. Oh, man. That's wow. why the Bible is so important. It is. It's like our memory verse, Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding because, well, let's be real. My understanding, I did not know how to do this properly. In all your ways... Acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. He will. Man, following directions is way easier than just trying to figure it out on your own. Especially when the directions are so clear. Just like what God gives us. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Proverbs 3, 5, Six. Hey, I am so excited that you guys got to spend some time with us. We miss you so much, but did you have a good time? Yeah, I really hope you did because I sure had a ton of fun. That experiment was so cool. And to just think, if I would have read the instructions, I could have seen it do the cool thing way sooner. I wouldn't have had to do such a, I wouldn't have gotten so frustrated. But that's why instructions are important. Just like with the Israelites, God showed them where to go by using a cloud in the day and then fire at night. I mean, that's pretty cool. And it's also pretty clear instructions. But you know what else gives us instructions today? The Bible. That's why it's so important. And we always tell you guys to make sure you bring it. Well, when you come to church anyway. But it's so important because it tells us what we can do. Like if we have questions or if we need to know how to love someone or if we need to know what to do, are we supposed to lie? No, that's in the Bible. It says don't do it. Are we supposed to steal? Absolutely not. That's in the Bible too. So all of the questions that we have, the Bible tells us yes or no. It's pretty clear. And that's the cool thing. God never leaves us without knowing what we should do. 
And like our memory verse says, trust in him. If we can't exactly find the answer, if we trust in him, he'll make sure that we know exactly what to do. It's so important. So make sure that you're posting your memory verse because one, you get King's cash. Two, we love to see you guys. It makes us, it makes our hearts so happy because we can't actually see you guys. So seeing you guys post makes us so excited. So make sure you're posting them at Casey Oahu King's Kids. And don't forget your scavenger hunt pictures. Last week was amazing. The lion pictures that you guys came up with were so creative. I loved them. You guys did so good. So today, make sure you have to find something red, something white, and your Bible, because it's so important. So I can't see, can't wait to see how creative you guys are. Don't just pick anything, pick something creative. All right, well, I love you guys, and Auntie Jen loves you guys, and all of us kids teachers miss you so much. We can't wait to see you, but until then, stay tuned because you don't know what's going to happen. See you guys next week. Bye.